Because anytime I take something and I, and like I said, I, I relinquish my care of myself to another person or another entity or whatever, I got a problem and I need to get this problem solved. Instead of me thinking about solving my own problem, I try to turn to a larger organization or group or people or anything to solve that problem for me. Um, automatically, now I'm subject to their will. It's Monday, baby. And we heavy on the grind. So he like? What's up, boy? Are you living though? I hope you, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I hope you, uh, gonna get it today, boy. My main man. My motherfucking main man, Josh Jacobson. How are you? Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. How you living, boy? Happy Father's Day, my man. I saw you yesterday. Much love. You're one of the dads I heavily respect out here. Yeah, you too. I was just saying the same thing to you. <laughs> yep. Dad gang, got to stick together. Oh, you know, I'm going to put a topic in this house. I'm hoping somebody's going to come through here in a second. So I'm just giving it a little second to see if anybody filters in this home. But um, I had some interesting talk about. I had something interesting to think about today. Just an interesting topic. Such an interesting time. Hippie hop hop, baby. He's a hippie. They hopping. And they hot. They don't give a fuck about you out here, baby. They don't give a fuck about us out here. It's so funny when people make those statements, they them um i always ask who is that <laughs> they'd be like yo they don't want us to win i'm like who's they <laughs> but today we're gonna talk about they we're gonna talk about them oh yeah you go for real for real this is a good one but yeah we're gonna talk about them we're gonna talk about they we're gonna talk about them <laughs> and and them's different for everybody but them is out there you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I uh, always talk about the, or, you know, I always like, like in rap music and stuff when they talk about the ops. You know what I mean? The ops. And they were, I always think they were saying cops. And they probably are saying cops. Uh, that's probably where the word came from. But you also think about it like, like an op means opposition. You know, that's what they say, like the ops. Um, and, and so, you know, in, in any type of thing, you have like, the ops, which is the operation or the op opposition, right? And like even in um, the military, when we would do training exercises and stuff, you know, we'd have like whatever the force versus the opposition, you know what I'm saying? Or what the ops, the haters, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, and I love that because, like I said, when I ask people who them or they is, just like Eli was just saying, like that's that's the haters. The haters are the individual. The individuals, you know, because that's the thing about ops, man, is they're they're all the way through the whole spectrum, uh, you know, all the way up to the top, top to the bottom, bottom, right? Like the ops is out there. So, um, you know, you have ops in the government, like there's people in your government who who are oppositions to you, you know what I mean? Who, who are oppositions to your thought process or your mentality or your belief system or whatever, right? Um, like I said, if you if you if you black in America, then the ops might be the police. You know, like those are people who tend to be in opposition to you or trying to do some harm to you or get you. But, you know, other black people be ops, too. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of black people get murdered by black people, too. So it's like, you know, what I mean, you got ops, you got all kinds of ops out here. And that's why I was hearing in rap music when they're talking about that. You got to keep your head up. You know, what I mean, like, I think that that's just so important out here is like a lot of people don't know they have ops. You know what I mean? Like they, a lot of people out here think think like like the world is their friend, you know. And 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 I know we wish it was. I mean, guys, I'm a positive person, okay. So this idea of oneness, the law of divine oneness, and the law of like you know just being together and happy, and and this idea of utopia and things that us hippies want to see come to fruition, you know, all love and peace and tie dye, right? Um. We want to see that and, that, and that, and that can be a real thing. But um, the law of polarity has got to be a real thing, too. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be somebody who's standing in opposition to you and you and us understanding that relationship between ourselves and our ops, 
is so, so important, right? And, and that's kind of what I want to talk about a little bit today. If you have a little bit of time, I would love for you to hang out in this um, and, just, and just try and catch this real quick because there is a lot of, op- you know I mean, like I said, we're all dealing with it right now. A lot of people are, are crying out against their government. Like I said, we're talking about our individual haters or, you know, we're, we're a lot of right now is about exposing the opposition or, or bringing opposition to light. And so um, I think it's important to talk about this conversation right now. So I hope you got some time. Thank you. Thank you, Indigo. Um, you guys are, are the greatest, too. Thanks for even hanging out and listening. Brad, much love, boy. Hey, yeah, I've been doing the lives. The lives are back and they're in full effect. If you don't get to catch them live, they be on H- IGTV. I post them on IGTV now. And uh, so you can go back and watch them and shit. They're dope. I just did one last two days ago about fake wokeness or about my de- the definition I think of why people get lost in their um, journey towards enlightenment. So I thought that was a really good conversation. But I digress. I digress. So you got opposition out here, right? <laughs> you got ops. Like, I think about this all the day. I do not look for or depend on help from the outside world, okay? And then you think, well, that's bad. That's not a bad thing. You need help. Like, everybody needs somebody out here. And you're right. Everybody needs somebody. But everybody does not need everybody, <laughs> okay? Like, everybody doesn't need everybody. And, and this, is, this is counter to the, the culture right now or counter to the the idea that's being spread of like, we all need to come together and we all need to be one. Uh, I would like to remind you guys, you don't have a choice. <laughs> you will be one. <laughs> you, you are one. Like there's no idea of like coming together. You are together. We are made up of the same things living on the same planet in the same universe of the same energy. We are one. So this idea of coming together or, or, Becoming one, that's, that's a misinterpretation of the law, in my opinion. Because, again, like I said, to, to become one or to become whole as a community, as a, as a world or universe, um, does not mean wash away all polarity, right? That doesn't mean erase all the differences that make us up so that we can all be one thing. That's not true, right? It's embracing our, our oppositions, the other sides of us, the, the darker sides within ourselves, the darker sides in other people, um, you know, embracing that, acknowledging that, and moving accordingly, right? And so, like I said, when I listen to a lot of songs like rap music and Meek Mills and all these other people, and they're like, you know, I had to keep a strap on me, I had to watch out all the time, you know, I have to, you know, it's always this, cog- like this, um, they're on guard against enemies, And I think that's true too, man. I'm on lays like that too. Now, it's not a fear thing. I can't, I don't fear you guys. You know, I don't fear my government. I don't fear um, opposition, you know? And the reason I don't fear opposition is because A, I understand it, right? And I told you when you understand things, it's hard to be afraid of them. But B, also too, um, I'm prepared for opposition. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm constantly aware of the idea that they don't give a fuck about me. You know what I'm saying? So you see a lot of people like, right now, and they're, they're pleading to their government to care for them as an individual, right? We're like, yo, for too long, the government's cared about the government, right? <laughs> That's because, man, this is a really deep talk, and we'll get into that side of it another time, but the government, anytime somebody comes together in a coalition to help you, right, they want to help you, and so that's their will. Their will is to help you, but then that's also um, bringing in their own personal will as well, right? Like, they also will to get rich, or they will to provide for their own family as well. So it's not like they don't want to provide for you. Like, they want to help you, and they want to see you, you know, win, but only in the context of how it's going to also help them win, you know? Um, like I said, when people, they, you, you definitely want to help me, B, and I'm sorry, I'm going to use you now as an example. You do want to help me, because I do have a problem with hair care, and I need, you know, better hair products. So you are trying to help me, but you're not trying to help me just because you want me to have good hair. <laughs> right? Like if that was the case, you would just give me the products, right? And you're like, here, you need to have this. This is good health care and hair care for you. So, you know, part of selling things is, and part of providing services to people is not only providing them the service, but the reciprocation that comes along with that, right? But we get confused along the way. We start to really 
think of people and institutions and other people, ops out here in the world, as altruistic, as your government's sole purpose in life is to take care of us as individuals. And that's not true. The government in itself has kind of become its own will, its own entity. And so in itself, it has to maintain its own um, uh, interests, its own self-interests, right? Now, it helps us or tries to help us, but mostly in the context of its own self-interests, right? And that's okay. Like I said, that's okay. It's fucked up for sure. But that's why I'm a libertarian. That's why I don't believe in this idea of a collective government or a collective um, overseeing body. Because anytime I take something and I, and like I said, I, I relinquish my care of myself to another person or another entity or whatever, I got a problem and I need to get this problem solved. Instead of me thinking about solving my own problem, I try to turn to a larger organization or group or people or anything to solve that problem for me. Um, automatically, now I'm subject to their will, right? You get that right? Now, their will could be altruistic. There's great organizations out there that try their hardest to put their own ego essentially aside, their own self-interest and will aside for the good of the whole or other people. But those institutions and those people are very far in between, right? For the most part, us as human beings, whether we fall into a government or whether we're in a family or whether we're just individuals working in a corporation, whatever, we're all groups of people and people by design, by inherent design, are self-interested, right? Like, you'll save my life, but very rarely at the cost of your own life, right? right? That's almost, like, it's just something very difficult for people to do to sacrifice their own life for the life of somebody else. Why? Because of self-interest, right? Because of self-preservation. So that's ingrained in you on a very deep, natural level. So this idea that you're gonna become, um, I don't care about, like I tell people all the time, I don't care about myself, right? I don't really care about myself, but I do care about myself. You know what I mean? I just care about myself very little, but I do care, right? So I tell people this all the time. Ask my intentions. Why I'm so interested in helping you, helping you, right? Why I'm so interested in sharing this information with you, right? Ask yourself. Now, I mean, I know what my intentions are, and I'm pretty sure you guys do too, but asking yourself the intentions of people helps you understand their will, right? And, and understand where their will is designed to help you and where their will is designed to help themselves. Okay, so why is this important today? Well, when you're looking for effective action in your life, you need to solve an issue in your own life or you need to not even solve an issue. You need to get to another level. You need help, right? Because you will need help. This idea that you don't need help is not true either. We do need help, but... Do I want to be out here trying to solicit help from my ops? From the people who do not want to see me win or, or give very little fucks in me personally. Rod the planter. Not my black vote. Or not me as a Democrat or as, a, as an employee. Right? This happens not even just in your government. Your job will do this to you. You think your job gives a fuck about you? Honestly. Like you work for a corporation, you work for McDonald's. Does McDonald's as an entity care whether or not you feed your family today? Not necessarily. I mean, they do in the context of how much work you're going to provide for us in exchange for it, right? So it's a given, it's a take. But a lot of times we don't understand that. We just, we think that the people who take from us are doing it in the names of helping us. This happens even in our own families. We'll let family members take from us, right? Like, like hurt us, hold us down. We'll let people in our own family, brothers, sisters, mothers, dads, right? All on the, they, they could be your ops. Your dad could honestly be your op. There's no idea that just because he's my dad, he's not my op. You see what I'm saying? Like anybody out here could be opposition to you. And so I'm always big in this. Like, you got to pick your own family. You need to look for your own family. You need to really decipher through the intentions of everything and everybody out here and decide which ones are out here trying to help you and which ones are out here trying to hurt you. Because these could be haters. They could be, you know, they're friends that are in your circle group that you allow to be there, but they don't want to, you know what I mean? They're always constantly putting you down or always constantly spreading negativity or always constantly shooting down your ideas or keeping you distracted from doing the things that you want to do in your life that are positive. 
This could be your government. You know what I mean? A lot of people right now, the, the government is their problem, but they're seeking to solve their problem through the government. And I say, how? How? That's your op. That's your opposition. And so how can I get a, a, a solution that's 100% geared towards taking care of me? 100%. Not some, not taking care of you enough so that you'll shut the fuck up and leave me alone, right? Or, or, or let me make it seem like I'm helping you or fixing your problem so that way um, you just get the fuck out of my hair, right? Because again, I don't really care about your problem. That's why you have to beg me to care. You know, I don't really care about your problem. I just care about it in the context of how it relates to me. You know what I mean? And that's your government, for better or worse. Right? And that's why people say, you got to raise your voice. You got to come out here and say it. Because if you don't, your government ain't going to do shit for you. Right? And this is kind of true. So, but this, again, I'm not just trying to make this seem about your government because it's not. This happens in, in day to day. I see so many people who are trying to do something in their life like, like I am. You know, they're trying to get a grind going or they're trying to stay positive or they're trying to be a good person or whatever. And a lot of their stress and their strife and their worry and their complaints and stuff that they talk to me is about, what's up? Hey, everybody coming in. Um, I see your questions. I see your comments. And I definitely want to get to them. I appreciate y'all so much for sticking in on this conversation with me. I promise you, it's so, so important. And so um, self-employment advice, I do. Absolutely. Absolutely. I give kind of all kinds of advice. I've been studying a lot. I've lived a lot of different lives. And I feel like I have insight to help people through a whole bunch of different types of topics and ideas. So, um, yeah, you know, the best way to find out is always just shoot a question. You know what I mean? Shoot a question. So, um, nonetheless, you're trying to get help from your ops and the ops aren't necessarily trying to help you. They're just trying to shut you the fuck up. And this could be, like I said, your business. I watch my own girl or people give the best of themselves, the best of themselves, the most of themselves, their, their sweat, their tears, their blood, their hours into a job into a job that they know, that you know, inherently know, that that job don't give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? That job is not looking at whether or not you're going to be successful 40 years from now. The job is not necessarily like, you know what I mean? It's the job isn't trying to set you up to win or make sure you got all the right resources or that you can make sure you take off the right amount of time to take care of your family and other matters that you have to do outside of your job, right? Your job don't give a fuck about any of that. Your job's like, you will be here at this time and we'll pay you X amount of dollars, the bare minimum that we need to pay you to satisfy the, the need that we have of, of employment, right? But nothing more, nothing more, nothing more, right? Come in on the weekend, Come in. Hey, I don't care. You sick? You need to stick it up. You need to fuck it. Figure it out and get your ass over here, right? All because, not because they hate you. Not because it's trying to see you die or, you know what I mean? Like I said, your, your government, your job, your families, all these things is not, I, I believe, right? People are fundamentally this way, not because they are malicious intent. Because if that was the case, how come I'm like this sometimes? You know what I mean? How come I put myself ahead of the other people sometimes when I, I like to think of myself as an altruistic, caring person, right? The reason is because of self-preservation. So again, your dad is not oppressing you or opping you because you're a shitty kid or a shitty person, right? They're opping you because they got some shit fucked up within themselves. Like they can't handle the responsibility of being a father. And so now they're opposition to you. They're being a shitty dad to you. But that really has nothing to do with you. And we know this inherently, but we'll take that on them. We'll constantly, like I said, I'll constantly see people who want to get to the next level, want to win, want to be in a positive mindset. And then they're talking to me and they're like, but my dad won't let me and my mom's so negative. I'm stuck around these negative people and blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm stressed and I'm worried because I can't get so-and-so, this person to love me the way that I need them to love me. Or I can't get this entity, this group of, of Democrats or Republicans or whatever, this job or whatever to see my worth or to see my value i can't get them to appreciate me in the way that i need to be appreciated and so you're you're upset and you're frustrated and you're you're, you're protesting this could be in your life or your it could be anywhere right you're mad and i'm like i get it that makes sense it's super frustrating when you need this particular thing to do something for you and it's not doing it like my computer i need it to be faster than it is sometimes and it's not and it's frustrating but when I, when I open my mind, I expand my ideas, and you do too, and you start thinking of it as like, you know what? That dude's an op. 
And you start looking at it, I got people who are with me and people who are against me. And those people who are against me could be anybody. It could be the guy who just drunk, who's drunk driving down the road right now and is about to kill you or your family, right? That's op. That's an op out there. That's a drunk driver about to kill you or your, you know what I mean? That's op- opposition is everywhere. But you need to identify opposition and know when the fuck it is. Like, you need to be on guard against your oppositions out here. Your ops do not want you to win. So the idea that you're going to be like, all right, come on, buddy, government. You know, like, would you ever go to your haters and start a business relationship with them? Hey, man, I know you fucking, you hated on me since high school. I just wanted to come over here. I need help starting my business. And I thought maybe, you know, you knew something about graphic design. Do you want to help? Fuck no. Why would you do that? You know what I mean? This dude's going to backstab you the second they get but this is what we'll do we'll plead and and rather than letting go and realizing that that person that entity that thing th- those people whatever that group them they those are opposition to you leave that shit alone go find stay open look for engage with put out attract to you the family the resources the people who you need that are going to help you specifically. You know what I mean? My brother. My my brother. Not your brother. Not the government's brother. My my brother who loves me. Like my brother who would die for me. I would die for my brother. Right? That mm, we think we'll die for each other. <laughs> it's something I just you can't say with conviction until you're put into that moment. Everybody can say that they'll do it, but until you actually have that on the line, I don't think you can actually say you'll do it. But you see what I'm saying? But we have that type of bond. I don't ever have to question. Me and my brother were just talking this the other day about we just created our LLC and stuff, and so we're starting our business and shit. And we don't care. Like I was like, I don't need to, we don't need some long fucking things about so and so gets this percentage and make sure so and so doesn't fuck you on the back end with this and shit. But in normal business relationships and partnerships, you do have to do that because you don't know. That dude could be your homie right now. Y'all could be super tight right now, but 20 years from now, that's your op. You see what I'm saying? It just it happens like that. It does. Don't we all know? Somebody get jealous of you. You used to be cool, but now they're not. They're your ops. But you hold on to them. They starting to get jealous of you. They starting to try to tear you down, hold you down. But you hold on to them because that's my friend. That's not your friend no more. Your friend dead. It's like a zombie. That's not your friend no more. That's an op. And the op trying to see you lose. You need to let go. You need to get away from that person. You need to move on. You need to stay open to the people who are on your team. On your team. Because you do have a team. I'm sorry. You do have a team. It's not the government. It's not McDonald's. <laughs> okay? It's not. It, probably, it might not be your dad. It might not be your mom. It might be your best friend. Or it might be your wife. Or your husband. Or your dog. I don't know. You know what I mean? But you got team out here. You got people who do want to see you win. But you ain't fucking with them. You out, you're too busy out here trying to convince the people who don't fuck with you to fuck with you. Right? Which is a losing game. It's like bloods out here trying to convince other Crips to be bloods. You don't do that. You don't, you don't, hey, come on, Crips. Come on, man. You got to see our way. Yo, you, you fight them. You fight the Crips and you look to everybody else to recruit them. You know what I mean? Like, every, oh, you ain't in the gang? You ever heard about this blood shit we got going on over here? You need to come on over here and get in on this, right? It's, it's just life. This is just life. This is just how it goes, right? So you can garnish support, love, help, acknowledgement gratitude, all the things that you feel like you need to get from other groups or people out here, you need the validation of your boss. You need your government to write in a little article that says you're acknowledged for your rights as an individual or what. You know what I mean? Like, what is that actually going to do for you as a person? Like, as a person. Not, not, not as a transgender, right? Not, not, yeah, sure, your, your rights as a transgender person are, but you know, we have rights. I'm not exercising them. I have the right to bear arms, right? Am I exercising my right to bear arms right now? No. So if you take it or protect it or garnish it or any of that stuff, right, what does that really do to me personally? Like, I, I want you guys to have guns. The people who have guns and do gun stuff, like, fine, do your gun shit, right? But you see what I'm saying? Like, why I'm be out here trying to fight for your guns? Why I'm over here trying to, like, get all lost and, like, you know what I mean? I'm not protesting guns and all that stuff. I don't give a fuck. Like, y'all do whatever you want with guns. I ain't got nothing to do with me as an individual person. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm afraid of guns, sure, but you motherfuckers been done had guns. So this idea that I'll protect myself from my opposition by wiping out all guns out there, you still want to kill me. You see what I'm saying? Opposition still want to see you dead. So the idea of eliminating the tool didn't really help you. Same thing. Uh... 
the 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 Constitution give you your rights? Is that where you get your rights from? It's a good question. It's a really good question. Does the does the document give you rights? Not really. Actually, in the document it says these are inalienable rights, meaning they're just rights that that all humans have based on being human. Like this is kind of inalienable human rights, meaning like you know this should be if if, if we're gonna live in a society or whatever, then these should be like the just. You kind of get this by default. You see what I'm saying? And then so we wrote a, a document to protect what should already be your default rights. So the idea that the paper gives you the rights, it doesn't. Does the law stop you from killing somebody or breaking into a, a building? You know, does the, does the law stop somebody from knocking off a corner store? No. Now, if a policeman or somebody with a gun, it could even be the shop owner themselves, is there to protect their store in case of a robbery, um, who's more effective, the law or the person protecting their store? Well, protecting their store, because no criminal walks up and says, oh, oh, there's a law. Uh, you're right. Uh, never mind. Not going not gonna to opt today. Good thing you, oh, you're lucky you had that law. I was going to opt you today. I was going to murk you today, but... You lucky you had law. Woo! You lucky big brother government out here looking out for you. All right, I'm going to go now. No! No! I'm your op. You need to go, regardless of the law, regardless if you agree, regardless if you want me to or care about you or not or whatever. You know what I mean? I get it. I get it. I do. You want so bad. You're like, you're my mom, though. You're my government. You're supposed to look out for me. You're... Elon, whatever, you know, you're SpaceX, you're supposed to be looking out for me. You said you were gonna, you know, politicians out everywhere, everybody. You said you was gonna do this for me. People constantly, it's not even ops, right? Just sometimes your people let you down. Even the people in your own family who are dope, who really want to come through for you, they're gonna let you down. And in that time, what can you do? Complain? Throw a fit? Kick and scream? You're supposed to care. You're supposed to. You're supposed to care. You're supposed to care. I love doing this to my kid. I love doing this to my kid all the time. She's like, I want it though. I wanted to win. She'll do something. I wanted to win. I like. I feel you, kid. I want this million dollars. God, I want it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Not only do I want it, I think I deserve it. Not only do I deserve it, I'm expecting it. I want that shit so bad. You know what? I should already have it. It's, it, it, the fact that I don't have this million dollars is perplexing to me. But you see how I want all of my justification or, or desire or, or, or even if I actually deserve it. Where's my million dollars, though? You got to make it, Rod. <laughs> you got to make it, Rod. I mean, you, you can have it. Nobody's saying you can't have the million. You can have it. But it's your want for it doesn't create it. Right. It's not your desire for things to be um, equal that creates them equal, right? It's not you. The, ultimately, what I hope to impress upon people is the solutions to your problems are all within your own control. You have all the tools you need. You have all the help around you that you need in abundance, like more than enough help and resources. And this could be for anything. Um, we were just doing a podcast the other day. We we're talking about this dude, Coney 2012. Does anybody remember Coney 2012? And Coney 2012 was this huge like social media campaign where they were going after this um, warlord in Uganda, right? A warlord that they couldn't get the U.S. government to pay attention to because this guy was just, you know, really what happened was the government didn't give a fuck because we don't have any resource. We don't have anything in Uganda. So we didn't have any oil, we didn't have any money or any stakes or interest in Uganda. So the American government didn't want anything to do with it. So this guy, instead of trying to petition his government and, and get them to care about something they just don't care about. You see what I'm saying? Like, as much as people want me to care about dolphins, I get it. They're beautiful. They're majestic. They're amazing. I mean, they're dope. Don't get me twisted. I don't want anything bad to happen to the dolphins. I don't want them to go extinct. I think all of that's a tragedy. But I don't really give a fuck okay like i'm just being honest i don't really give a fuck and it's like does that make me a bad person no i'm just not into dolphins you feel me like i'm just not into like it's cool i want them to exist i want help 
I want them to thrive. I want them to have the best out here. And this, this is not a metaphor. I'm talking specifically actually about dolphins. Like, I want them to thrive. Tigers too. You feel me? Tigers in, are facing an epidemic out here. And I hope that ends. So if that's you, then you need to get at it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, save these motherfucking dolphins. But all the time spent asking me to help the dolphins. Wow, it's just, wow, what is that going to do for you? Because you've asked me. They've asked me. They show me the videos. They, they do all of that. They're like, they're dying in record numbers. Look at this. Look how tragic it is. Here they are all dying up on the sea and all that. And, and, and that's pulling on their heartstrings in a way that I think is important. Right. But again, um, I'm not opt to the dolphin, but I kind of am because I also don't care. So it's like, you know, I'm over here. So you again, you can tap me on the shoulder all day long. You can pray, wish, hate on me, think that I'm the devil because I don't care about the dolphins or whatever you want to do. Right. Try and blackmail me, whatever you try all that. So much effort that could have just been spent on saving the dolphins yourself. Getting together with the other motherfuckers who care tremendously about the dolphins. Because they're out there, right? They're out there. Like, somebody out there is, is caring tremendously about that today. And get with those people. And organize. And build. You know what I mean? Move forward in, towards a goal that you have both deemed worthy as a goal. But this idea that, you know, like I said you getting lost in your ops. Like, your ops are out there and they don't want you to win, but you can win. Like I said, you don't need them. You just fall into their game by getting distracted. You listen to the haters. You sit here and argue with people who are completely opposition to your ideas and your points and stuff. You know, not to, not to even encourage them, but just to, you know what I mean? It's just a waste of your time. It's just a waste of your time. Um, people can get on movements, you know? So, you're not going to build the tallest building or the t biggest business out here by just tearing down everybody else's thing. You know what I'm saying? Going after so-and-so because they're not doing it right. And so-and-so is fucking it all up. And they're not spending the money right. And they're not doing it. And they, Well, then what are you doing? All right? Ask yourself, what am I doing then? What can I do? What should I do? Should I just sit here and argue with my ops? No. Yeah? Same thing with your dads, your parents, your friends that aren't fucking with you no more, or you, you outgrown them, or just whatever, man. Like, understand that at any given time, like I said, the law of polarity exists, so it doesn't matter if you're ultra right, like you re really are the right guy, you have the right answer, you have the right whatever mentality and all that stuff, there's still somebody who has the wrong one, the dumb one, the anti-you, right? Um, so it doesn't matter which side of that, on. You, even you're on the bad side, the wrong side, the the ugly side, the nasty side, uh, there's still a bunch of people who think you're wrong over there on the good side. So this is gonna, this is gonna exist either way. So should I just spend my whole life just arguing, fighting, hassling, trying to convince, trying to get validated by, trying to be loved from, all these things of, of my opposition, or should I just mingle in with the whole other group the whole, it's, it's practically 50-50 out here. You see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's almost literally, for every left, there is a right. And for every right, there's a left. And for every up, a down. So, I mean, rather than you, you're a down type of person, then be down. Hang, be down with your other down folks. And down it your way. Do what you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was a black person, I am a black person, but I'm just saying, like, if I was that type of person, I was upset with the way that blacks were being treated in, in our society, the last thing I would do is be trying to ask the people who are oppressing me to, to help me. No. You, oh, you'll help me, all right? You enslaved me. They'll be like, yeah, there's your help. We helped you. We, we helped you last time by enslaving you. What do you mean? Right? Like, this is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. So, along the way of trying to convince you that you need to stop being my opposition, right? But I ain't fuck with you. I'm more avoiding you. Just like I talked about in the very beginning about rappers and all these people that talk about in music, right? The idea is not to beat the cops, to fight the cops, to... It's to avoid them. They say, hey, look, I'm constantly in the mirror. Me too. I don't even do anything wrong, bro. I live by the law, mostly. I mean, at worst, I smoke weed. I mean, I've done some things. I do some things. You know what I mean? I've sold some drugs here and there. I mean, I've made my, my fair share of nefarious moves. But anytime I'm doing any... If I'm going to the grocery store, my niggas, I'm like... Where y'all at? 
the police, the drunk drivers, the the idiots, the motherfuckers who just don't do what I'm doing, paying attention. Some of y'all just sleep out here. Y'all even, you know what I mean? I don't even need to worry about getting pulled over. The the least of my personal concerns is getting hit. You know what I mean? Straight up. Or just whatever. Right? People are dumb. Let's just call it what it is, right? Ops out here are everywhere. I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're Democrats or if they're Republicans. I don't know if the ops are working at McDonald's or if they're working for fucking Apple. I don't know if they're my friends or that. But when I find them, you best believe I'm on watch. I'm on watch. I definitely ain't trying to get nothing from them. I definitely ain't trying to fuck with them. I'm on watch. I say, hey, let's do our own thing over here. Let's just make sure the ops don't come our way. I also, hey, look, also, too, this is not division, right? This, the law of divine oneness exists regardless whether you want it to or not. So why well, I need to fight you? I don't even need to fight you. I don't even need to come over here and make you. Like I said, I don't need to come and kidnap you and try and get you to come over to my side. I, you do your thing over there. I see you. you. Do my thing over here. And we don't fuck with each other's thing. And that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. You don't need to. I don't need to. You know, I don't need to. I don't need your religion. You got it, though. And it's working for you. Then keep doing that. Stick with that shit. It is obviously doing the thing that you needed to do for you. I don't need it. So it's like, you know, you can be mad at me all day long, but whatever. It's like, it's not my, it's not my steez. I love this. This is so funny. It's like, you know, you, you get mad at people. It's like getting mad at people because I got a favorite color. Is, is green a better color than blue? Are these somehow like, are these, they're in opposition of each other because they're different. So, you know, they're not the same, but is the, like, Will I make them equal by making them the same? Does the does the the blue need to be more green in order for it to be a, a cooler color, or does it? No, fuck no. They're just colors, and they're just doing their own thing. The green, be green over here. Blue, just be blue right here, and it doesn't give a fuck. It's not looking over at the green like, man. I wonder how I can conquer the green today. You know, they're they're right next to each other in the rainbow. It's not like they're like, hmm. I wonder how I can we can move over and take over green in this rainbow somehow. Hmm, you know what I mean? Like, that, you know, yellow's not sitting up here talking about, man, purple's really fucking squeezing us in tight over here, huh? You know what I mean? It's just in there. It's just in there, just doing its own purple thing within a whole spectrum, a whole rainbow of other opposite things. Other motherfuckers doing what? The same thing. The same motherfucking thing. And you come and you hit the physical plane and then it spreads out into different things. But it's the same shit. So it's like, you know what I mean? Why I need to sit here and fight? Why I need to argue? I just like what I like. I just do things the way I do them. I'm open to change. And when I find that I do stupid things, because I do stupid things, and I think stupid things, uh, guess what? I'm op. I'm an op. You know what I mean? This idea that Rod's your, oh, Rod's always got to be, you don't know me. You don't know me. How you know 10 years from now I don't just turn into a fucking deranged cult leader? Got 20 fucking, a whole fucking, con- you don't know. You don't know. That's my point. You just don't know. So, but you know, this idea that I'm not, like somebody said earlier, I'm real. I'm not your friend. I'm not trying to jolly you up, make you feel good. I, it gets confused because guess what? I, I'm a feel good person. I do feel good. So you think, oh, I'm trying to make people feel, I'm not. I'm trying to be as real as I possibly can, right? And, 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 and in being real, I have to acknowledge the fact that, you know, I want you to win. But I also, all day, when I'm here sitting at my desk and this is off, I'm not sitting here thinking about, how do you win? That's not, that's not what my whole day, shut up, babe. I got to figure out how Tony's going to win today. Don't talk to me. You know what I mean? Like, that's not happening. That's not happening. That's not happening. I care about you as much as one human can care about another human being. This is why I say I love people constantly, open, right? And I, I imagine people are like, what are you, how, how can you love me? You don't even know. Because I do love you. I got tons of love for you. I don't need to know you. You're me. You're doing your own thing. You're, op- you're opposition to me. I still love you. That's fine. You could be oppositions to me. I'm not fucking with you. They said, I will block you. I will not talk to you. you know I, mean? I mean, hell, if you have something interesting to say, I'm still going to open and listen to my ears and see what it is that you have the interest to say. But you're getting met with a certain level of skepticism based on the fact that you're my op. Same thing. The government. And honestly, leaving you guys with this, everybody's an op until they prove otherwise. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's in opposition to you until they prove otherwise. Just because I found that there's just very few people who actually want to see you win. Yeah? And that's just, that's just life. That's just life, right? I mean, like, your mom, 
This is why people default to their family. This is why the family, but like I said, family could be anybody, but this is why we default to it. Like your mom, more than likely, more than likely, not for everybody, obviously, but more than likely is going to want to see you win. Yeah. Hell, I mean, like I said, she probably wants to see you win, but not over to her own neurosis. So she can't put her own fear and anxiety and worry for you aside to see you win. But she wants you to. You know, because that's a whole nother level of the topic. Like, what about people who, like, we're fucked up inside, and so we want others to win, but we constantly keep sabotaging them out of our uh, misery loves company? You ever heard that? You've ever experienced that, right? And, and we don't mean to. We don't mean to. It's just that you don't want to be all by yourself in your misery, so you got to hold on to that person tight and make them feel it. And so you kind of become opposition to that person. Even you, you didn't mean to. You didn't mean to. You don't want to. You don't want to see them. Like I said, again, I don't want to see the dolphins die. But, you know, if they all die and I didn't pay attention, it's like, mm, kind of. It's not my fault, but I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Like, it's contradictoriness out here. But, you know, everybody's ops. That's all my point. Everybody's ops. I don't treat you differently because, again, I don't have to. I'm op. You're op. I'm black. You're white. You're white. I'm black. It's whatever. Right? We're just standing on opposite sides opposite opposition you're a democrat i'm a republican it doesn't really matter whatever but we're ops and so like like i said you're probably not going to hang out with republican people you're not going to have you know if you're a jew like an orthodox jew you're just probably not going to have a bunch of transgender like i don't expect you to be like hanging out with my kid and y'all be best friends it just theoretically how would that work you know what i mean like you think that they're living a sinful life and they don't so it's like whatever Right. But what, imagine how much stress and strife my kid will have if she really needs that Jew to fucking validate her. Right. Or really needs that whoever that that person. Right. I need I need you to understand that I'm a girl. Please, please, please see me as a girl. It's like, yo, I'm not going to see you that way just because I want to fuck with you. Just to troll you. Just to troll you. I'm going to call you a dude. Yeah, you are a guy. Hot guy. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's how people be out here to you. They'll oppose you for no reason at all. Just because they're opposition. Just, just like so I hope that gives you some peace today. I hope you just understand that, like somebody said earlier, I hope it gives you some perspective today. That is exactly what I try and do. I try and shift the paradigm a little bit just to, to, to change the, the way you look at some things sometimes. And, and that's one thing I want you to do. Think of people differently. Stop looking at people on arbitrary titles. Government, president, mom, dad, boss. You know how many times I had a boss who really should have been my employee? You know what I mean? Like, who just wasn't really a boss. Just because they had the title of supervisor didn't necessarily mean they were equipped to supervise. So, anyways, can't give people free passes out here based on their title. Just because they say, I'm the Democratic nominee or I'm the whatever, doesn't mean that they're your teammate. You know? Trump doesn't give a fuck about poor white people. You know what I'm saying? Joe Exotic and Donald Trump, this idea that Donald Trump's the man for joke you know what i mean you see what i'm saying like nah ops bro so they come in all different shapes and sizes different colors but find people who, who on a more positive note find the people who you fuck with and i'm telling you you won't even care you will not care once you settle in once you become your true self and you start attracting people to you based on who you truly are how you truly live and, and appreciate like i said let go of everybody who doesn't align with that right if somebody's like can't understand your gayness then you need to just leave them alone and go hang out with other people who do understand your gayness. You see what I'm saying? And, and when you do that, though, you start living life in, in a more positive state, in a more abundant state, you know, a, a happier state. And then now, like I said, it's not so much of all these things you have to fight against. It's more about what do you want to build? What do you and your other gay friends want to build? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just true. And so you and all the gays and all the gay sympathizers and everybody who fucks with gays me included. Hello. What's up, gays? We'll all hang out and we'll build something. You want to build a, a pro-gay society? I'm with you. Let's do that. How do we do that? Let's work on that. Let's, let's, but the idea that we're going to ask the non-gays to fucking care about it is crazy. They're not, they're not going to care. They're just not, they might pretend to care. We can, like you said, we can pressure them into caring long enough to get you the fuck away from them. <laughs> but so I hope you, I hope you remain effective in that way today. Today, when I go out to try and help grind gang, it's you, it's you six people who wanted to listen to me. Um, for the 7 billion people out there who are not listening today, peace be with you. I love you so much. 
you know, um, I'm not here for you, obviously. <laughs> I'm here for the people who do want to listen. And, and I hope you are do that. Be there for the people who want to be there for you. You know, your friends, your family, your parents. And, take, and like honor those people. Respect those people. Care for them in the way that they should be cared for. You feel me? Like that's why I take care of my family with the utmost care. Like because that's my family. And finding people that care about me to that level is not something that's easily done out here. You, you know, people treat it like it is. Oh, I'll just find, I'll just replace you. I'll just find another. Dude, the real ones, you, you won't. You won't. Because a lot of people out here are ops. And so when you do find those, cherish those people, love them, be there, support the, each other, and, and, and try to build what you guys can build together, right? And work together. Um, but then kind of try to ignore the rest of all the other stuff going around because it's probably just not for you. You know what I mean? So... All right, I love you guys so much, and I hope that's valuable to you today. And uh, I want to read some of y'all's comments real quick and answer if I can, or if you have any questions, and then we'll get out of here and go live it up today. Doesn't mean to, but it happens. Yep. So question, you could do anything and whatever in the world, correct? But some decisions have consequences, and you'll have to accept the consequence. Yes, absolutely. I love this. So I talk about this all the time because... Um, I think that Christianity or religions in themselves have come into the world to try to give us morality standards to look up to, right? Because without them, we revert to natural law. And I found that civilization does not like natural, like they don't like the idea of looking at us as beasts, you know? Like we don't like the idea of thinking of ourselves as animals. Because we have this conscious mind that can self-reflect we think that we should be above our animal tendencies and that's kind of true but to deny that they still exist is false as well i think so but in a way to do that because you can't convince everybody that right you have to create a doctrine an overall umbrelling thing so my point is they civil i'm not even just putting this on religion this is civilization this is government your schools, your jobs, the lines on the road, you know, what civilization is, right? It was us coming together to be civil, right? So that we would stop being barbarians, meaning killing and stealing and just, like I said, if a lion in the jungle wants something, it doesn't go over there and politely ask for it. It just takes it, you know, and we wanted to get away from that type of stuff. And so all of that is to say that's where we got this morality from and the idea of like, there's these serious consequences to my actions, because in nature, there aren't really. Um, like you said, there are only consequences. There are not made up consequences. So um, I can kill as many deer as I want to. You probably won't because of natural law, but I'm just saying I can kill as many without any type of repercussion. But if I kill off the entire food supply in my little pack group, then that's the consequence. Now I'll starve to death in the future because I've killed off all my deer, but not because the big daddy lion's gonna come down and say, shame, shame, shame on you for killing all of those deer. You see what I'm saying? And, and I think that this is actually counterproductive because when people, integrity, something I got taught big in the military, integrity is being honest even when nobody's looking. Even when nobody knows, nobody will find out that you lied. And to, to not lie anyways is to, to have integrity. Um, that's really difficult because you, you, do, you can get away with lying. And we do all the time. But I think that there are natural consequences, logical consequences. Um, if I lie to you, I have to now perpetuate that lie. And so now I kind of have to live into that lie so that you'll believe it. And so now I'm living a lie, you know? And so I really, in this compromise my own truth, I hope that makes sense, to lie. Um, and and th that's a consequence in itself. I just told you, remember I was saying like, how do I attract people who are true to me if I'm not being true to me? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm lying. So what am I going to attract into my life? Liars, right? Other people or other people who think it's okay to lie and, and have low integrity or the integrity to match my own, right? So hence why what thieves, thieves, you ever heard of den of thieves? How many of you guys know professional jewelry heisters? Why not? Why don't you know those people? Because you're not a professional jewelry heister. You know what I mean? If you were, you'd probably know other motherfuckers in the game. You feel me? You know how to spot another one. You would, you, anyways, you would be attracted to them more. So, consequences are by nature, not by the book. It's the same thing I told you, right? Um, if I kill somebody but I get away with it, are there consequences? Like, if I don't get thrown in jail, are there consequences? Yes. 
right? Yes, I always think about this all the time. I, imagine the PTSD you have. Imagine the personal trauma you have from watching yourself evacuate life from another being. You see know what I'm saying? That goes with you. The idea that you're just going to pow, and then every time you go to sleep, you're not going to see that person's face on your mind is crazy. You're going to feel that in some way. It's going to do something to your inner, your soul, karmatically, whether there's like an idea of a heaven and hell or not. I love Sadhguru puts out this, um, only people who want to go to heaven are the people who've made a hell of themselves. And I think it's a funny quote in the sense of like, like he said, um, heaven and hell is, is a state of being. And I think personally, when you, when you sin is what they use in religions and morality. But when you do things that are a negative impact on others, you feel that karmatically within yourself. And then that creates some type of stress or anxiety or worry or narcissism or some type of break within you that now you have to live with. Now there's a pain inside of you that you're going to have to live with based on that action. So to answer your question, I think that consequences are self-inherent and not imposed by me. So that's why I don't ever believe in revenge. Like if somebody does me dirty, I just keep it moving. I really do. I just keep it moving. That doesn't, I'm going to hope not to uh, encourage you guys to try and do me dirty. But I'm just saying like the idea that I'll go and exact consequences on them and that'll even the score or something is, is, a, is a, a fallacy of the ego. You know, there is no score. Um, their consequences have already been done unto them when they make that decision. And so same thing to, um, you know, integrity, all that stuff. But I think that, um, yeah, you can do anything. I do. I, I believe that. I believe that. Like I said, today, I don't kill people not because it's against the law or because somebody else told me it was wrong. I don't kill people because I truly believe that it's wrong. And again, I, I, I believe it's against my own self-interest. You know, and when you like, you don't do things. We just talked about this earlier. You don't do things that are against your own self-interest. You do, but not not consciously. So when you consciously understand that this is not good for me, and then you will try your best to not do those things that are not good for you. So it's a logic based thing. Like I said, so when whenever I'm test, I don't need anybody around me. The the priest doesn't need to be looking at me. You guys don't need to be looking at me. You know, I don't need anybody out there to be like, do the right thing. You need, or else God's going to get you. We're all watching. You better do the right thing. I don't need that. I do the right thing because I think that that's the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah I have to go. Maybe I have to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love you more. Have a bad day. Uh, Kill him today. Yeah. Watch out for them ops, baby. <laughs> Keep your head up. I always do. That's right. Keep your head on a swivel out there. <laughs> Got to stay aware. All right? Open. Okay. That's where the gold board comes in handy. I don't know where it comes in handy, but it always comes in handy. I just just put mine up the other day. Scoot up, 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 gold board. Super excited. Ever since the board went up, I'm like <laughs> hitting, hitting. This is on my board. These rants right here. I think it says do 48. I gotta do 48 IGTV lives in the next three months. So here we are, baby. Here we are. And then um, I put start a legal business on my goals board and me and my brother got llc yesterday but i've been a been a business i've been operating as a business for three years three and a half years made it a goal though once you make it a goal you consciously go after it so goals board i would love to to collab with gary b absolutely nothing wrong with that um i think you were commenting on some things that we were talking about right there b somebody else had an awesome question earlier Working one of those now, oh, the job, hating it every day. Uh, get away from it. That's my point. Don't tolerate that opposition in your life. There's a reason why you don't like that job. You need to get away from that and find something you do like. You know what I mean? And don't act like you can't. You know what I'm saying? Don't act like, oh, I got to be here. No, there's some type of mentality. There's some type of something. But like you said, right now, if you hate your job, that job is in opposition to you. <laughs> and so you're like, you think it's helping you. If it is helping you, or if you thought it was helping you, then why would you hate it? You know what I mean? So it's either, if it's helping you, then then let it help you and love the fact that it's helping you and know why you're doing that job so that you can, you know, like I said, move on to your next goal. I do believe in working towards a goal, but that's what happens. People don't work towards a goal. They just start working and then you just start working and then you're working. And then what's, what are you doing out here? Working, 
What do you, what do you work for? Pay my bills. So you, your whole life is just the work to pay your bills. That's the life you want to live. But they'll do that. We'll fall into that circle. Uh, and that's opposition. That's what I'm saying. They make those jobs so cush, so easy for you. Like I said, it's crazy to me that they never... I, I think that like if you worked at a certain job for X amount of years, they should fire you on principle. Like you can... If you've been working a minimum wage job for 10 years, they should just fire you as in like, you're done. No more minimum wage for you. How the fact, how have you not thought about evolving yourself to the next level in 10 years of doing this, right? Like, but like I said, they don't want you to win. They don't, they don't want you to move on to a better job. They don't want you to get promoted. They, if you do, it's whatever, but they don't, it's not like they're out here. Come on, baby. You need to get up there. Go, go win. Come on. Let's, let's hurry up. Let's do the right thing. Let's, no, nah, no. Nah. Nobody wants you to win. When I said that, they don't want, they don't give a fuck about you. So it is a shtick. It is opposition. They'll just let you get lost in that job forever. People be like, go check my music out, please. But people that actually want to check it out already, well, yeah, facts. That's so facts. That's so true. I mean, you know, like you said, you could put it out there. Some people might not know you have new music, so then they can't go see something they don't know if it's there or not. But yeah, this idea, like I said, people be hitting me up in the DMs all the time. I do. I got some homies that hit me up like consistently in my DMs. And now if you send me a song or something, I'm, I'll probably go listen to it because I'm grind gang. And so I want y'all to support my shit. So I'll go and support your shit. But if I don't fuck with you, like if I don't, like I said, if I don't like your music when I get there, it's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I respect the grind. I want you to win. I want you to win. But without my listen, like win over there. With other people, your fans or whatever. I'm not a fan, which is okay. Like I said, I don't hate you. I don't want you to lose. I don't want, you know, I just don't want to listen to your music. But they'll be. Come on, man. Did you see my nice thing? Are you just wasting all your time out here interacting with a bunch of people who don't want to be your fans? <laughs> what about the people who do want to be your fans? Go talk to them. Go send them your music. <laughs> so funny. Um, go, go ask them to tell the other friends that kind of think the same way they do if they'll like your shit but this idea that everybody's not for everybody i just hope that grind gang gets that i i get that i'm a very tribal person by nature uh i i believe in that idea of soul families of like finding people who resonate with me not on title like i don't give a fuck what your title is. i don't care if you're the ceo if you're my mom if you're my kid i don't care you know what i mean like all that is just people like when you strip away all those titles, it's just people, 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 people. So there's people who are going to fuck with you, people who want to see you win, who are trying to be a part of what you're trying to do, who want to help you be better. And there's people who don't. And there's people who are just neutral. Um, the neutral people, I let them kind of hang around the fringe. The people who don't get the fuck away from me. And the people who really want to see me win, I spend the most time with them. You know, This is why I do things like coaching and lives and hang out with the grind gang. You know, the grind gang is not a huge group, but the people who are in the group, I know that they're depending on me. You know, they're learning. They're, they're getting value from me. So I'm here for you guys, regardless. You see what I'm saying? Regardless of the rest of them. But uh, to, to Mikey Rose's point, a lot of people do that though. A lot of people will ignore their already fan base trying to get new fans. You know what I mean? And it's like, you end up sacrificing the people who do fuck with you, trying to get a bunch of motherfuckers who don't really fuck with you out here trying to fuck with you. Uh, I got a question for one more quick, 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 quick little comment or question. And I got to go because I've reached my limit. Roman the mind up in here, grind gang. Got job opportunities. Hit up B. She's on the hustle. Robin, I love you so much, girl. I seen you on the hustle. New videos, fire. Um, and uh, yeah, cool. So I love you guys, grind gang. Get it today. And uh, watch out for the mops. Keep your head up out there.